One of the unique features of stat graphics that users who don't do statistics every day really appreciate is something called the Stat Advisor. What the Stat Advisor will do is actually take the results of your statistical analysis, the actual numerical results, and write a paragraph or two interpreting them. The paragraph is typically written in a format that you can then easily take and copy into a program like Microsoft Word. For example, here's the result of analyzing an experiment where yield was thought to be a function of several different factors. You can see a standard analysis of variance table. You can see an analysis of the individual effects with their degrees of freedom. You can see R-squared statistics and p-values and so forth. Now, notice that certain results are in red. In the case of the p-values, the red results are p-values less than 0.05. In the case of things like R-squared, there are the important statistics that the Stat Advisor will talk about. Scrolling down a little bit farther, you can see the text that was built by the Stat Advisor. It will explain a little bit about what the tables are trying to show you, but it will go one step farther. It will actually tell you, in this case, since the p-value corresponding to the f-ratio was less than 0 0.05, the model is statistically significant at the 5% significance level. Also, there are times when it will suggest that you do certain things. For example, Going down a little farther, you can see it talks about the Durbin-Watson statistic and says since the p-value is less than 5%, there is an indication of possible serial correlation at the 5% significance level. Plot the residuals versus row order to see if there is any pattern that can be seen. That's the sort of interpretation that could be very helpful if statistics is not something you do every day.